Welcome back, everybody. We are here oh, with another oh. Phasmophobia oh. video. Completely ready off the cuff, unscripted. We're here to show you guys the ghost protection equipment in this game and to just go over everything that we've missed and any tips and tricks that like we've picked up along the way over the course of the past couple weeks just playing this game a bunch. I'm joined by my good friend, Kenny. Kenny, how you doing today? Doing great, you know, uh, totally just started the game. Yeah, um, I'm I also here with my friend Bob, aka Bobby Bottle Service. AKA Bobby B, Bobby Bottle Service, aka Bobby B. I saved that lives, don't uh, We are here in the ghost room with all this equipment laid out in front of us. So, for this episode, we are going to be looking at the protection equipment plus some of the tracking equipment. In our past couple of vids, you know, we've, we've goofed, we've gaffed, we've spent a lot of time. What the fuck was that? going over all these pieces of equipment so we figured this this video is going to be speed lightning run, speed run baby okay focus up first on the list kenny what is it i forget first on the list is smudge sticks smudge sticks bob what's a smudge stick do so the smudge stick is used to help make the ghost a little bit more docile when you want to go get some last bits of evidence or if you want to go maybe take a picture of a bone 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 Maybe you want to find like a Ouija board. You just want to explore the house a little bit. In previous patches, you used to be able to smudge the ghost while it was hunting and it would just cancel the hunt phase. They patched over that pretty recently. And so it now just prevents one person from getting hunted. So another, uh, oh God, it just breathed down my neck. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next up, Kenny, what do we got? Oh, we got the crucifix next up. The crucifix is pretty simple. You either hold it in your hand to stop a ghost hunt if the ghost is right next to you within that two to five meter range, and that stops the hunting phase. Um, oh! Throw it on the ground to where the ghost Thank is going you. to be walking. That also can stop it from hunting. Hey, uh, you, guys know we, you guys know we could have recorded this at, at any other time. We didn't have to be in the ghost room to do this, but you know, we're... Eventually. Next, we got the photo camera. Boom, got it. Photo camera, yep. Yeah, guys, very self-explanatory. Right click takes a picture. You're limited to five per camera, so be careful trying not to misclick. You can take pictures of the ghost, fingerprints on the wall, fingerprints on light switches, footprints on the ground. <sighs> yep, you can take pictures of bones. Bones, bones dirty, dirty water. water. Interactions that the ghost has with items if it throws something. So We're fine, just let um, us smudge to. We don't have any. We're back. Nothing terrible happened with the last hunt. Weird server maintenance going on. We're recording on a Tuesday, so Steam went down. We just got booted right out of that match. Nothing terrible happened. Don't worry about it. But we're back. One last thing to point out with the photo camera. If you take a picture of a phantom while it's hunting, it temporarily disappears. Uh, we're done with the photo camera. Get that trash out of here. Carpet day! What are we on to next, Ken? So next, we got the Sandy Pills. So these bad boys are life savers, literally. You pop these things when your sanity is low. And you may be asking, how does my sanity get low? Well, if you're walking around the house, swearing at ghosts, sitting in dark rooms, looking at phantoms, if you're dealing with a Yuri, they drain sanity faster. There's a number of ways that your sanity is going to drop. If you're alone, your sanity also drops. You know what else drains your sanity super fast? What? What? Phantoms. Sitting in dark rooms, looking at phantoms, if you're staring at a phantom, your sanity plummets even faster than just being in the presence of a Yuri. Yep, so to go back to the photo camera, if you take a picture of a phantom, it will make it disappear. Yep, just like that. Moving on, we got candles. Candles are next. Uh, they're these bad boys. Um, 
What do they do? So, they light. That's it. Yeah. You light them. And you throw them on the ground. Yeah, you can use them as a light source. I also like to think in, like, bigger maps and in future maps, you can use them as, like, breadcrumbs to light the way back to the truck or to the ghost room, etc. So, in a similar vein to the candle, we got the glow sticks. And guess what? You know what we're doing? We're dropping this in hallways once we run out of candles because we can also use the UV glow sticks as a guiding post. But there's also another use for these. If you plant a glow stick on the ground and a ghost walks over it, there is potential to see ghost footprints. Similar with the UV flashlight, you could track and follow ghost footprints. Moving on, we have the lighter. News flash. It lights things. It's a lighter. The most important item of all is your flashlight. This thing, if you don't have one, it's dark in these houses. It's dark in the high school, and it's dark in the asylum. So what's the major difference between a regular flashlight and a strong flashlight? So, <clears throat> pulling out my scientific goggles, the strong flashlight has a larger radius that the uh, the beam of light. So it's a bigger light, is what you're saying. What's next? Next, we have the motion sensor. The purpose of the motion sensor is it helps to keep track of where the ghost is. That's the case for every single sensor. Motion sensor, sound sensor, UV sensor. If you want to keep track of where the ghost is, you place them in the ghost room. If a ghost walks by it, boom, trips the sensor. You look up here to the right, you'll get a little ping saying it tripped the sensor. See the sound sensor? Same thing. If it makes noise in the ghost room, UV sensor, however, is just for visualization of where the ghost is. I think it is arguably, in my opinion, one of the most useful tools of figuring out if a ghost is moving around, because there are plenty of types of ghosts that do move around, you can figure out where they're going. You done? I'm moving on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's pretty good. What's next? We got salt. Boom. It's iodized salt, if that matters to you, I don't know. Salt can be used in a number of ways. For one, it can track footsteps on the ground if a ghost walks through it. It'll visibly show that feet have walked through the salt. You can then like track the footprints through the salt. Salt is also used to stop a wraith. Wraiths don't like salt. They're like snails. So ideally you want to put salt in doorways and places where the ghost will walk through, not just on random spots in the floor because it really won't do anything in those spots. For me, by the way. Taking a picture of it gets you more money. True. Yep. yep. Okay, next. We got the parabolic microphone. You're supposed to use it for larger maps, like high school or asylum. It's supposed to point you in the general direction of where the ghost is. Yeah, so it serves as a portable sound sensor when it's working, ideally. And I really would like to see it being useful in the future, especially with bigger maps coming. It has potential. Next. That's it. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Kinda wish we didn't throw everything everywhere. <laughs> oh, the second I walked oh, no. out, the second I walked out. Oh! Oh, no. <gasps> I think I'm okay. My god. Just show yourself, please. Alright, we gotta capture photo of the ghost, we gotta detect the ghost presence with a motion sensor, we gotta capture a photo of dirty water and a sink and name is <laughs> Margaret Garcia responds to everyone. <laughs> Sorry Ken, didn't mean to make you break character there. <laughs> 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 We're so far gone at this point. Hello? Oh, <laughs> hey, Bug! <laughs> I fucking know. I hate how I can hear you from across the Bug! <laughs> oh, Bug!
ghost here. Yeah. It's it's the little girl without the mouth and her like her mouth is a circle and it's got teeth. It's that one. Oh fuck. I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> but I will say the little, hair. But I am afraid of the little girl. <laughs> hey Michael, if you were a ghost, would you be a scary ghost? Would you kiss me? <laughs> It's moving the fucking book! It just threw oh, it! Oh. Hey, Michael, come here. Ah! Michael, show yourself. <laughs>